Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will talk about how to respond to God's blessings. One of the YouTube channels my kids enjoy is the Mr. Beast channel. You may have seen his candy bars at Walmart. Well, it's the same guy, that's Mr. Beast. His team is always giving away a lot of money and gifts. We would say that he blesses people, sometimes through competition and other times through acts of kindness. There is something incredible about blessing someone who needs help when they least deserve it. Well, today in the book of Ruth, we will see the original Mr. Beast. So who exactly is the original OG? Well, let's find out in Ruth chapter 2, beginning in verse 8. Then Boaz said to Ruth, now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Let your eyes be on the field that they are reaping and go after them. Have I not charged you, the young men, not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink what the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face, bowing to the ground and said to him, why have I found favor in your eyes? that you should take notice of me, since I am a foreigner. In the first seven verses, Ruth, the widow, she goes to collect the leftovers in the harvest fields. This was a Jewish provision to care for the needy. Ruth is noticed by Boaz. Boaz is a relative of Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, and that's where we pick it up here. Ruth has likely been waiting to talk with Boaz before gleaning from his fields. Boaz's worker conveys the request. And what's Boaz's response? It's incredible. I mean, forget Mr. Beast. It's Mr. Boaz giving the blessing. He provides four blessings here. He says, you don't need to go anywhere else to glean. All you need is here. And then he says... Walk with my female workers. You don't have to get the leftovers. Go with them and take what you need. Then he says, you will be safe. I've told my men to not touch you. This was freedom from sexual harm or harassment. This is a very important provision for a vulnerable person. And then Boaz says, all the water you need, take. The fourfold blessing is beyond what she could imagine or even ask for. What's her response? Verse 10 says, She fell on her face, bowing to the ground. She worships him. She falls on the ground and lies face down to humble herself before the generous man of character. This will not be the only time she lies at his feet. You see, she's blessed. She knows it. And she asks him, why? And that answer is going to have to wait. But what we do know is that God is a good father. God is our provider and our protector. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. So my challenge for you today is to look for God's provision and blessing in your life and then thank Him. When I look over my life, God has been so gracious, so protective, even in the worst of environments and circumstances. Therefore, He should be praised. When we recognize and worship God as our protector and provider, we will win the day.